So it's actually a PhD program, okay. but um, I will get my master's along the way. Um, so th I, the final goal is to actually indeed become a professor and teach in computer science and do research. Um, I, both of my parents were teachers, so I kind of want that aspect of it, but I also really like the research as well, so it kind of fulfills both requirements there. I'm uh, part of the uh, Pi Mu, Mu Epsilon uh, like math club, so there's you know activities through there. Uh, th through there, I got involved with um, tutoring at uh, Dreher High School, which is a local high school here, and um, I've really been enjoying that just to kind of get to work with kids and, um, you know, I'm, I, f I, f I feel somewhat obligated because I, I uh, you know, I received some assistance to come to the school and I felt like I wanted to give back a little bit and that's been a really good outlet for that for me. So I was primarily studying uh, something called combinatorial game theory, so it's looking at games like checkers, chess, go, these kind of traditional perfect information games where you know, you, you, you think of the game, you have the, you know, suppose that you have the two best players in the world playing this game against each other, then, you know, how do you decide who's the winner? And so if, if you have some, like, finite game board like chess, you know, you can, you can simply just enumerate all possible ways to play the game and then find out who should win it. But, you know, there's an astronomical number of combinations, so to actually do this, you know, you'd probably take longer than the expected life of Earth and then doesn't really help you out much. So we're, we're looking at theoretical ways of solving these types of games. I'm pretty involved with uh, intramural sports. I've played pretty much every single semester. I played on the international men's soccer club team uh, for two semesters.